So we have a series of parallel lines here. One, two, three, parallel. One, two, parallel. We're given one angle. What do we know about the other angles? Well, according to opposite angle theorem, these two lines are intersecting. We know this is 130 degrees. Now, there is this idea of a uh, supplementary angle theorem where you have a straight line and you have a transversal, another line cutting through it. We know that these two angles must add up to 180. So this here is going to be 180 minus 130, which essentially is 50 degrees. Now, what about this angle here? Some of you may actually look for the letter C. The letter C, whether you're going this way, whether you're going sideways, whether you're going upside down. The, the letter C, these little inside angles must add up to 180. So I know right away this is 130, because 180 minus 50 is 130. Another way is to say, I see the letter F here. The letter F, whether it be the normal letter F, whether it be the backwards letter F, or even upside down, upside down letter F, or reverse upside down letter F. If you see the letter F, we have some nice corresponding angles. So this is 50 degrees. This also must be 50 degrees. And of course, if you see a nice straight line, you know that all the angles must add up to 180. That's half a circle all the way around. So 180 minus 50 is going to be 130. So we're getting the hang of this. Uh, let's try looking for a nice uh, letter Z. So I see a funny Z here, a very wide Z. You can see a very sharp Z here, or even a very wide Z here. So I know that this angle here is going to equal this angle here. This is the alternating angle, angle theorem. So this is 130. This also must be 130. We can repeat the step to figure out all the other angles. Excellent.